The year is 1964, and Shell has started its exploration of the Outer Continental Shelf. It was my first job in the oil business on a full-time basis, and it couldn't be more exciting. There were two ways to get out to the rig from Bodega Bay, one by helicopter, which you see here, although one of those crashed shortly thereafter with uh, three fellows getting broken backs, and the other was to bounce your way out from San Francisco Bay, getting seasick on the three-hour run, and then be lifted by a little basket onto the rig if you were lucky. So the helicopter was certainly the preferred way to go. We leave from the coastline and somehow we know out there someplace is our drilling rig, the Blue Water 2. It was always sobering to me that the Blue Water 1 had rolled over in a big storm in the Gulf of Mexico. Ah, there it is. It's a one acre platform that houses about 70 people for a week to two weeks at a time. And a mooring system that stretches out over about a half a mile. Subsea, of course, and the Navy was quite concerned that the drilling platform might provide a hideout for Russian submarines. So from time to time, in this very deep water off the Farallon Islands and Point Reyes, we would see Soviet subs on our robots television scope down by the blowout preventers on the seafloor. Well, here we are trying to land on that little X marks the spot, and once again they've succeeded, and we're on the rig. This is the scientist and engineer's workshop, a little mud house where we check the cuttings that come up from the drill and check for fluorescence and oil. And any sign of oil along with things we see in the mud in the way of gas signals tell us it might be time to take a pretty careful look at this interval that we're drilling through. This is the deepest drilling in the world at this point in time, some 600 feet of water, and we're drilling thousands of feet below the seafloor. An incredible technological achievement. This is called turning to the right as you're drilling down, and here from Time to time you have to add or add pipe if you're trying to increase the depth of the hole or if the drill bit's worn out, you have to pull all the pipe in 90 foot sections up from the bottom of the ocean, change bits and then re-enter the hole and start turning to the right and drilling again. So here you see the roughnecks doing their work. In the meantime, the technical team is gathering samples off the mud shaker where we bring them into the little mud house and analyze them. And of course, we're always watching the gas chromatograph for any signal that there may be an interval with oil and gas in it. 